Yeah, I was playing Joe. My name is Cockcar34. I'm here today to do a uh, rebooking, uh, another re rebooking special, and it's going to be the plan to save WrestleMania 33. How would I book it pretty much? How would I book the road to WrestleMania 33? Now, I know there's news coming out recently that obviously um, Seth Rollins is, you know, he's fine to do WrestleMania, which is something I'll get onto a, uh, a bit later, but basically, what I'm doing here is just going to rebook it at uh, from Royal Rumble. Uh, all the way to WrestleMania 33, and this is how I would have booked it. So let's get right into the first part. So before I go into the booking, basically what I'm going to do is I've got some set rules. So basically, first of all, no Finn Balor because I don't think he'll you know return in time at the moment. Um, I'm allowing myself a maximum of four heel and face turns. So basically that's eight turns. That's a lot of turns. Um, and basically, Seth Rollins, at the moment, yes, it's been said he might be able to return, but at the current time that I was making the PowerPoint and the notes, I, I've said no, he's not going to be able to return, so no Triple H versus Seth Rollins. And I would allow myself at least giving one title change on Raw and SmackDown, because I think if we try and keep the, ch uh, the title changes on the shows, on the like regular weekly shows, down to a minimum. It'll make the titles more prestigious and make the stories more interesting as a whole, pretty much, if you did that. So, the build to the Royal Rumble uh, pay-per-view itself. So, basically, on Raw, we're going to have a Universal Championship match. Uh, instead of it being uh, Roman Reigns versus, uh, versus Kevin Owens for the WWE Universal Championship, I'm going to have it a triple threat. I'm going to have Braun Strowman in there, and he's going to like probably win a number contenders match or something like that, and Roman Reigns is going to like, well, hang on a second, I still deserve you know a championship match, and blah, blah, blah. And what I would like is like Roman Reigns to start being a bit heelish, uh, now I know this would kind of mess up the match, you know, if, if, if there's a face in there being heelish and yet the other two are heels, then yeah, it's going to be a bit confusing, but just hang on to this for a second. Um, now if Seth Rollins is able to compete, he's obviously going to stay in the Royal Rumble match, I won't have him kicked out, but I would have him eliminated, uh, eliminated in the Royal Rumble, so he's not winning the Royal Rumble, sadly. Um, and then on SmackDown, uh, the WWE Championship match will stay the same, pretty much, uh, the build up to that will stay the same, pretty much. Uh, then the Intercontinental Championship, instead of Miz getting a rematch uh, the week after, it will be him building up to a match uh, against Ambrose at the Royal Rumble. And then, you know, eventually we're going to have that rematch. And that's because I'm just building up uh, the Intercontinental Championship for WrestleMania pretty much. So, the Royal Rumble event itself, the Royal Rumble pay-per-view itself, basically Kevin Owens retains, you know, with help from Jericho's interference. Uh, that's because, I forgot to mention in the last... <laughs> bit there, um, I wouldn't have the stipulation that Jericho is not allowed to interfere because it's a triple threat match, there's no disqualifications, there's no count outs, it's not going to make any difference. Uh, Ambrose will retain against um, Miz, and the thing is right here, okay, I know I'm a big John Cena fan, but I think AJ Styles should retain the championship against John Cena, uh, just to build up AJ Styles for WrestleMania. And then, in the, and then we're going to get to the Royal Rumble match. Uh, the Royal Rumble match, uh, we'd ha I'd have Roy uh, Roman Reigns get uh, basically entered in this match, but I'd have him not enter at number 30, obviously. Um, and he would get eliminated by The Undertaker. And then after that, you know, just all of a sudden, Roman Reigns just snaps. You know, he's lost his chance to, to go to WrestleMania as the, as the Universal Champion. He's lost the United States Championship. You know, he's lost several times. He's just, he's just really pissed off. And now... Undertaker's eliminated him, and he's he's lost his last he's lost his last opportunity. Roman Reigns lost it, so he snaps. He snaps. He attacks the Undertaker. He turns heel pretty much. He turns on everyone. He just pretty much and just destroys the Undertaker. He puts Undertaker through the announce table, and you know the, the referees and the officials have to drag him off, and they have to you know and he's, he's furious. He's absolutely furious. And yeah, I know the Undertaker. He will get eliminated pretty much, um, which is a shame, but it doesn't matter because well. It's the Undertaker. <laughs> yeah. um, he's gonna he's gonna come back from anything pretty much. Um, so yeah, then uh, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg. I'd keep that spot in there. So basically, Goldberg just spears Brock Lesnar and then eliminates him. Uh, then uh, a bit of a Wyatt family thing. Uh, I'd have Randy Orton eliminate Luke Harper, but then instantly turn around and Bray Wyatt's there. So they they stare at each other pretty much. They 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 they, they, they lock their eyes are locked. So then pretty much basically what we what I've done is that Randy Orton basically offers himself up to Bray Wyatt and allows Bray Wyatt to eliminate him, you know, just planting the seeds there, you know, stuff like that. And yeah, I know in, in real life now Rand, Randy Orton's obviously won the Royal Rumble, but, but just just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> um, 
And then I'd have Seth Rollins still be in the Royal Rumble match, but then Triple H enters the Royal Rumble. Uh, I, well, I wouldn't have Triple H enter as you know, as a, as a participant in the Royal Rumble, I'd actually have him just, you know, randomly come in and screw Seth Rollins out of the chance to go to WrestleMania. And, you know, Triple H scampers to the back and maybe Seth Rollins can, you know, get attacked by someone. I don't know. Maybe maybe even Triple H just knocks him out with, like, a sledgehammer blow or something like that. That'd be really good. Uh, then it comes down to the final four. And I have Chris Jericho, who's the Iron Man in this match because he's he started off at number two in real life, and I think I'd keep that. Um, you got Bray Wyatt, you got Braun Strowman, you got the Miz, and the spots are basically Chris Jericho and Bray Wyatt. They eliminate Braun Strowman uh, purely because I want to maybe set up Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt in the future. That'd be really good. Uh, then Bray Wyatt eliminates Chris Jericho. Yeah, shame, shame, shame. And then the Miz eliminates uh, Bray Wyatt. Miz wins the Royal Rumble match, pretty much. He wins it all. And I think because Miz has been there for a long time, I think he's been doing well in the last year. I think he should be rewarded with a big win like this. And, you know, I think I think he could go in like a major rivalry. I think he... I mean, we saw it with Dolph Ziggler. He can go just just brilliantly. He can, he can run through anybody with such, you know, such great promos and, you know... Just great match drama, you know. I think giving him this kind of opportunity will really elevate his character and elevate him to a higher status, in my opinion. So that's why I made The Miz pretty much win the Royal Rumble. So up next, we've got the build-up to uh, the Elimination Chamber, so SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. And the Elimination Chamber match will be AJ Styles, the champion, uh, going against John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler versus Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. So similar, but I've left, the, I've, left uh, I've replaced a couple of people. Uh, to build the Royal Rumble, up, uh, not the Royal Rumble, uh, to build the story of it, and then in the weeks, in the two weeks going up to that, um, I'd have the Miz actually defeat Baron Corbin and like people like Randy Orton, or you could replace them with someone else. You know, leading up to the Elimination Chamber, not because Miz is going to be in the Elimination Chamber or be in a match uh, necessarily, but because I want to build him up after winning the Royal Rumble. I still want to build him up against you know big stars, you know top SmackDown stars, and you know, build him up to eventually challenge the WWE World Champion, which would be brilliant for his character. And just building him up against big stars would really cement you know the fact that he can go. He's not. He's he's not gonna you know like lose after. He's not going to lose a match after being, you know, you know, kicked in the face or something, super kicked in the face or FU'd or RKO'd, you know, after one of them. He's going to, he's going to go. He will go. Um, you know, I want him to have that endurance and have and keep all his charisma and all his character and everything about him, but just have a bit more endurance and have a bit more longevity to him pretty much. And that's why I wanted to put him in these matches against people like that and, you know, have him win in matches such as this. So the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view itself. So basically, I won't have Naomi win the championship, uh, win the sw 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 Women's SmackDown Championship. Um, yeah, I know, sadly, but I'd like to keep the title on Alexa Bliss for WrestleMania, and I know she's recently won it back. Uh, but I just, I just feel like if you keep the title on her, even you know, all the way to WrestleMania in one long reign, then it will legitimise the championship. Um, in the Elimination Chamber match uh, itself. Orton turns on Bray Wyatt, you know, he, he tries to offer himself, and then just all of a sudden RKO, and yeah, I know it's kind of burying Bray Wyatt, but I think in the end, I'll, I'll show you why I've, I've like done this, but it's like, Randy Orton, he finally just turns on Bray Wyatt, he just finally goes ballistic and mental, and you know, he just destroys Bray Wyatt, and basically eliminates him pretty much. Uh, Ziggler, I'd have him just just brutalize John Cena after John Cena, you know, eliminates Ziggler because I really think if Ziggler was to go after a big star, you know, and just be this violent, just crazy, you know, just, just spiteful, you know, piece of garbage. <laughs> um, I'd have, I'd definitely have him, um, you know, go after John Cena. And I think John Cena versus Ziggler. Yes. I know we've seen it quite a few times, but I think with the work rate that these two can put on, I think if you build them to a WrestleMania match, I think they'll be brilliant. And especially Ziggler's new heel role in the company, I think he definitely needs like a big name to go up against. I think John Cena is that big name he can go up against. Uh, then um, AJ Styles, I'd have retained by pinning Orton last. Um, just so then Orton's like, oh, damn. <laughs> no. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I think I'd just also have AJ Styles pin Orton just to give him that big boost in the uh, in his WrestleMania match. And then, after the chamber has been raised, The Miz comes out and stares down AJ Styles. Not, 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 
not like attacking him, just stares him down, you know, and maybe just like says, that's mine, I'm coming for you, you know, stuff like that. And basically what this does is that it turns AJ Styles' face. I'd actually turn AJ Styles' face, but I'd keep that kind of character, but I wouldn't have him turn on the fans and all that. I'd have him, you know, there'd just be this 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 badass who can talk, who can go, you know, just, just, I mean, I love the heel character of AJ Styles, but I think it's time for him to turn face, I think it's time for him to go back, but keep that aggressive nature to him, not, not like turning on the fans, like, uh, a couple of weeks ago on Smackdown, he, like, told the fans to shut up, you know, not like that, I mean, you need him to kind of be that fan favourite, and I think putting him in a match with The Miz, who is, like, the biggest heel in the company right now, against AJ Styles, and if you turn AJ Styles' face, guess what? He will be not only just the biggest champion in the company, but also the biggest star and the biggest face. And that is a that's a market match. That's a marquee match. You can seriously, if you booked that, if WWE had booked that, that match would be incredible. It makes so much sense. The biggest face versus the biggest heel for the biggest championship at the biggest event. Boom. Pretty much, that's how you book it. So basically, that's how it end Elimination Chamber with a stare down, pretty much between those two setting up their match for WrestleMania. So the build up to Raw exclusive Fastlane pay per view. Uh, basically, I'd have Roman Reigns come out like week after week and cut promos, you know, being really, really heelish and also demanding title shots against Kevin Owens because he's just snapped. He's gone. He's absolutely just gone mental. He just wants the championship. He just demands the championship. He really, really wants the championship. Um, and basically, yeah, I'd have then maybe a couple of weeks down the line, Braun Strowman just come out and he maybe turns face but he keeps that monster appeal to him instead of like pleasing the fans he's more he's more of a badass you know obviously because that's what he is he's a badass but have him you know turn face and be like you know you know these people don't want to hear you anymore i lost that i lost uh, you know my chance to become champion as well and you're complaining about it and then just all of a sudden they get into brawls and then it's set to be and then basically weeks later or maybe a week after Braun Strowman challenges uh, Roman Reigns to a match and then it's made into a no-holds-barred match because these two really cannot stand each other and this rivalry is kind of been building since uh, around Survivor Series time I think um, then Kevin Owens obviously I'd have I'd keep that little thing you know between him Jericho and Goldberg the same um, just because I want to build up a bit more, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, then I'd have Bailey not win the titles, uh, not win the title on Raw. Uh, I wouldn't even have her challenge it on Raw, but she's like open to a, ma a, 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 a yeah fast lane rematch. Uh, and then obviously Seth Rollins will get injured after being attacked by uh, Samoa Joe, pretty much, which is a shame because well, if if he wasn't injured, then I'd definitely have him in this rebooking. But he's not. He's gone. Sorry. So the fast lane event it, 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 itself. Basically, I'd have Charlotte retain against Bailey, but after you know a really hard hitting match, like Charlotte has to really go. She has to really push herself to her limits to to beat Bailey. Um, and then I'd have Roman Reigns, you know, just brutally beat down like Strowman with like maybe yeah. Obviously, I've said here with the hitting two spears, one through a a, a table. And then basically, I'd have him just brutalizing me you know, with chairs, stairs, anything. You just, just, you know, I wouldn't have him completely bury Strowman, but I'd have Roman be dominant, like in the last part of the match. You know, absolutely just destroy Strowman. And then Strowman, yeah, I'd, I'd have Strowman dominate a bit of them, uh, like maybe a, a third of the match, and then the middle third of the match, they're like kind of even. And then uh, the last third of the match, maybe have Roman Reigns just absolutely just dominate Braun Strowman, and then after he's beaten Braun Strowman, we you know with the with the spears because I think the first spear Braun Strowman should kick out, and then the second spear, um, yeah, obviously he should go through a table, and that's how you put away Braun Strowman because that's I think that's how you keep him strong as well as you know i mean yeah he's getting dominated but he's not exactly burying him completely and having him being put through a table that shows it takes a lot to put this big man down which makes a lot of sense for his character and keeps him strong in my opinion then after the match undertaker comes out and uh, destroys roman reigns you know maybe he attacks roman reigns you know slams into the barricade slams him into the post maybe choke slams him through the table maybe tombstones him in the ring and and then he like points to the WrestleMania sign and it's made official that it will be pretty much Roman Reigns versus Undertaker WrestleMania. Uh, the Undisputed Champ, uh, not the Undisputed Championship match, the Universal Championship match. Uh, Kevin Owens will retain, but basically the ref gets knocked out and then Brock Lesnar comes in and you know he costs Goldberg. 
um, basically the the, the, cha the championship, and then Goldberg leaves the ring, you know, and basically that's just that's just you know, Roman Reigns, you know, I mean uh, Brock Lesnar, he got his opportunity cost, and now he's costing him Goldberg's opportunity. And yes, I know a lot of people are like, well, not adding a championship match, adding a championship to that match, wouldn't that make it a bit more interesting, make it a bit more meaningful? Well, yes, but I think. Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar doesn't need um, the championship in this, in my opinion. Um, and then Jericho actually comes out and raises the hand of Owens. And Owens just, you know, he looks at Jericho and he just snaps. Like, Jericho is just brutalized by Owens, you know, because Jericho put him in this match. And Kevin Owens nearly lost the championship in this match. So, basically, Kevin Owens just absolutely destroys... Chris Jericho and you know puts him through a table you know bloodies him I'd like to see blood you know and maybe cuts his forehead open and you know even maybe you could even have Kevin Owens like pop on a code breaker on Jericho you know just just you know rub salt in the wound that'd be really cool that'd really you know sting and really you know build these two up as you know you know a great match because I think they can go and definitely have uh, you know Jericho definitely just you know turn on Owens and you know Kevin Owens being a brutal badass like he was in NXT would really make this match mean something in my opinion apart from just you know his character going up against Jericho's I think he needs to be that brutal badass that he was back in NXT pretty much and I think this is the way to do it so basically the build up to Wrestlemania 33 uh, on the Raw side will be this pretty much uh, the, Raw's uh, the Raw Women's Championship match will be Bayley versus Charlotte you know Bayley gets another opportunity she wins a triple threat match you know against Alicia Fox and Nia Jax and then I'd have the returning Emelina obviously do her old skit but then I'd have Emma return and challenge Sasha Banks to a match at Wrestlemania because I, I think giving that character and giving Sasha Banks, you know, a big match like this, I think these two could really go, and I think it'd be really interesting to see those two. Uh, Undertaker obviously laid out the challenge for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns challenges the Undertaker to a career threatening, threatening match at WrestleMania. And basically on the following week, Undertaker accepts pretty much. Um, then I'd have Chris Jericho actually defend his United States Championship against Cesaro and lose um and that's because um i'd, I'd have like maybe a skip a uh, segment where stephanie mcmahon just says you know Jer jericho you need to defend this championship because I'm, I'm i might have to strip you if you don't you you've not defended it in like so many days or something like that and jericho does but he's just he's just too beaten up from the from the attack from kevin owens the previous night and he loses he loses the united states championship but it gives cesaro you know a big push a big championship again and then cesaro gets attacked by his teammate sheamus um and that sets up their whole match and then we'd have you know uh triple h i'd have him glow you know on one week the, the how about uh you know um seth Rollins is injured and won't face him at wrestlemania and then I'd have Sami Zayn come out, um, and I'd have Sami Zayn, you know, just be like, you know, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing this, blah, 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 you know, I can't stand this, I can't stand it when authority figures are doing this, and then Triple H pedigree Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn then challenges Triple H to a, a match the following week, and Triple H accepts, so we got Sami Zayn versus Triple H at WrestleMania, which I think is a really good idea for not only Triple H, but Sami Zayn, and that's how I think you'd put Sami Zayn on the map while uh, another big star is away. Um, then I'd have Kevin Owens, you know, gloating about how he beat Brock Le uh, Goldberg, but he really didn't. And then, um, <clears throat> then I'd have, you know, obviously Jericho rush down to the ring, but he's he's just beaten down by Kevin Owens. I mean, he tries to get some offense in, but he, he just gets beaten down. Then Mick Foley will announce that Kevin Owens will defend his un Universal Championship against Chris Jericho. At WrestleMania, which is a really good match, in my opinion, it could be a really good match. They fought before for the Continental Championship, but I think putting a higher title on uh, on this kind of feud, um, especially with the with the championship being so intertwined into in their relationship, I think it's it's just it's just gold. It's absolutely gold. It's storyline gold. Um, then I have obviously Cesaro and Sheamus. They're going to face at WrestleMania for the United States Championship because. Sheamus has had enough, and he's he just hate he just he just found the opportunity to you know just destroy Cesaro. Uh, Enzo and Cast they're going to face against the club because I really want to see the tag titles on um, Enzo and Cast, and then obviously we've got Goldberg and Brock Lesnar set up for WrestleMania. 
So, on the SmackDown side of things, well, SmackDown's looking a lot smaller than Raw, obviously, it was more condensed. Um, so, I'd have Baron Corbin win a Battle Royal to face uh, Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. That match will be, you know, set up in a different way. I'd have, I still have the Usos challenge the uh, Challenge American Alpha for the ta SmackDown Tag Team Championships. And then I have Mickey James uh, turn on. Alexa Bliss, that's like another... That, I don't know where to have her turn heel. Maybe Alexa Bliss turns face. I don't know. But it just turns... She just turns on Alexa Bliss and challenges for the SmackDown Championship. Because putting Mickey James in a big match for a, a, for a championship like that and making that championship more prestigious, that's what's going to get that championship elevated. Uh, Cena is going to challenge Ziggler to a match at WrestleMania. Um, and, you know, Ziggler attacks... John Cena, but attacks him with a pipe, you know, and then conf and then accepts it, you know, has a great promo, a great heel promo, and maybe then accepts it, you know, attacks him with a lead pipe, obviously, like I said, and then the Miz and AJ Styles, this is a big build up. So basically, I have them not fight, not like brutalize each other, but I have them just cut some of the best promos on each other because I think AJ Styles, his promos are fantastic, and the Miz, I think his promos are just stunning. Um, I also think these two can really build a huge match for this championship and really make this championship mean something, you know, to either man. Because I think the Miz, you know, could have him be like, I've been here longer, I've held that championship before, you know, I've held it longer than you, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Well, obviously, no, he didn't hold, hold it longer than him. Uh, you know, have him just really hammer home that, you know, the Miz has been here longer. He knows what he's doing. He knows, you know, stuff like that. It's just, it's just building up such a good match. I think these two cutting promos on each other, this is how you should build the match. Uh, and definitely build it for this championship. Make the championship mean something. You've got the biggest heel versus the biggest face, like I've said, for the biggest championship at the biggest event. Boom. That's how you make your marquee match. All right, boys and girls, we're here, finally here at WrestleMania 33. So basically, uh, Big Show is going to be Shaq. Uh, I think he definitely deserves it. Uh, Samoa Joe, I would have him win the uh, Andre uh, the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Enzo and Cass will win the Royal Tag Team Championships. Uh, American Alpha will retain. Sasha Banks, I think, should beat Emma. And basically, this is all on the pre-show. And then the main show, the opening match, Ziggler should beat... Um, Cena, you know, to push that heel character, to push that really big heel character. Neville, I think he should definitely retain the Cruiserweight Championship in a multi-man ladder match because putting the Cruiserweights in a championship ladder match like this will really, you know, big up the Cruiserweight division. Definitely got to do that. Um, Baron Corbin, yeah, I think he, I think he'll beat uh, Ambrose for the uh, Intercontinental Championship because I think he'll have a great WrestleMania run then. Because WrestleMania 32, he'll have won the Andre Memorial Battle Royal. WrestleMania 33, it will have won won the you know the biggest championships in WWE, the the Workhorse Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, and that will be brilliant on his resume. Um, Alexa Bliss, I feel like should retain against Mickey James. Then Cesaro, I think should definitely be be uh, Sheamus to give Cesaro that big WrestleMania win. Sami Zayn, I think after a long hard fight, should definitely defeat Triple H. Bailey, I think after you know after months and months of chasing the championship, should definitely win it at WrestleMania and beat Charlotte's pay per view streak. Brock Lesnar obviously beats Goldberg, you know, in like a, a really stiff, really hard hitting match. AJ Styles, I think after you know putting in so much against the Miz, and you know the Miz takes AJ limit uh, AJ Styles to his limits, and you know I think AJ Styles should definitely re retain. Kevin Owens, again, he's going to take Chris Jericho, Jer Jericho to his limits, and then Kevin Owens get taken to his limits, and, you know, he should retain against Chris Jericho. And then the main event will be Roman Reigns versus uh, Undertaker, and Roman Reigns should be the Undertaker in his retirement match. He should retire the Undertaker and get that damn nuclear heat that he needs to be the biggest heel in the company, because I think that's how we should build up Roman Reigns to be the biggest, not not face, but heel, because I think he could be a great heel, he's got the look, he's got the demeanor, he's got the aggression for it, and I think he should beat the Undertaker with one, two spears, and then, obviously, because I, I think Roman Reigns would look better with a powerbomb, I think he should have that great sit-out powerbomb move that he has, and then defeat the Undertaker, and, you know, you have a heel close out WrestleMania, you know, I, I mean, yeah, fair enough, it doesn't sound right, but that's how I book it. So basically, this is how I book WrestleMania 33 and the road to that. So, what do you guys think? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's good? You know, what do you, what do you actually think about it? Uh, comment down in the comment section below, and I shall see you later. So, 
Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you later. Bye-bye.